The Flipper Zero, often referred to as the Tamagotchi for hackers, has garnered substantial attention within the hacking community. Its design pays homage to the iconic 90s virtual pets, and its monochrome LCD screen serves as the primary information display. The Flipper Zero's journey began as a Kickstarter campaign in 2020, successfully raising $4.8 million. Although delivery was delayed, the device's attractive $169 price point piqued the interest of many. This device offers versatile connectivity, with the ability to read, copy, and emulate RFID and NFC tags, remote controls, and digital keys. It operates independently, requiring no external connection to computers or smartphones. It features a digital pad, a dedicated back button, and can connect with external modules via a GPIO port. The Flipper Zero distinguishes itself through its open-source framework, providing access to electronic schematics and firmware. It also includes a long-range antenna for access systems like parking lot entry cards. The Flipper Zero has gained popularity on TikTok, with videos demonstrating its capabilities. These range from manipulating gas station prices to accessing garages and replacing remote controls. Notably, it can unlock phones, open specific car models, and interact with arcade machines. It can potentially connect to various products, clone them, and interfere with their communications, including car keys, motion sensors, video doorbells, and everyday devices like fans, LED lights, or thermostats. Despite its merits, the Flipper Zero raises security and legal concerns. It could be used to break the security of access systems, such as hotel or apartment door keys, through brute force. The ability to connect it to a computer's USB port and control it remotely introduces new attack vectors. The legality of the Flipper Zero depends on its responsible and ethical usage. While the device itself is legal, using it for malicious purposes can lead to legal consequences. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to support independent news.